All right, goodbye stick people. Hello balloon people. Now, if you uh, did your homework or did you work for, did your assignment from the last lesson, I wanted you to do three more balloon people. Remember we started off, we did three circles on the uh, paper and then we added the body. Now, just as a quick reminder, I'm gonna do another one of those guys for you right here. Show you how easy it is. Remember, it's just anywhere that there would have been a stick, we're gonna replace it with a long skinny balloon. So for example, there's the head, body, and then we broke the body down, the arms and the legs into parts to make them more like an action figure so you can bend them around. So we're gonna have upper arm, elbow, lower arm, hand, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, hand. Then we had upper leg, knee, lower leg, foot, upper leg, knee, lower leg, might make that a little bit bigger, lower leg, foot. Okay, do you remember that? Hopefully you did, and hopefully you've got some figures over here. If not, hit that pause button. Never be afraid to hit the pause button and catch up or do whatever you wanna do, but always use that pause if I'm going too quickly too. So make sure you have two or three of these because what I wanna show you how to do is how to um, dress them up a little bit. Let's get some clothes on these guys and let's make them more from just this weird little shape into what would represent actual people. Now keep in mind, normally when we draw these, um, I've been using Sharpie just so they would show up better on the paper. Normally you would draw these using your pencil so you can always go back and darken in things or erase things, make changes. I'm kind of committed. So the lines that I do right now are committed because of the Sharpie. The lines that I do right now, some things are gonna be like shining through coming through don't worry about that that's gonna to be totally fine just remember normally you would do it in pencil first all right so let's say didn't we say this guy might be running a race or something well let's put some pants on this guy um I, actually I'm gonna put some jeans on him so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a sharpie or again you could take your pencil and I'm going to right about where the waist would be I'm gonna put a belt on there I'm gonna kind of just outline just go a little, like if I literally, like if you put pants over your leg, you're gonna want these to go literally just over, like you're sliding clothes onto it, all right? So then if those are the pants, I might come up here now. Maybe this guy's wearing a uh, short sleeve shirt, okay? I'm gonna put the shirt going over this body a little bit, okay? And I don't know, maybe there's a collar on the shirt like that. So you might be saying, all right, well, what's the big deal? Well, here's the big deal. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna take a crayon. I'm gonna color that in. And again, you would normally, you would not see the Sharpie lines underneath there because you probably would have done those with pencil. So now this guy's got his pants on. Okay. And let's, let's give him what, maybe a red shirt, purple shirt. Now already we've gone from a stick figure to something that's looking a lot more like a person and it really was not hard to do. Um, on the faces, don't go too crazy with those yet. Let's keep it really, really simple. I'm gonna just do a nose about halfway down. One of the secrets, you don't wanna put the eyes up here at the top of the oval because the top of your head is up here. So you're actually gonna have hair and stuff coming down. So you might stick some ears on the side. I'm gonna just do some kind of longer Little dots like that and this guy's gonna have a little sideways smile all right that was it about halfway down the circle don't put the don't put the nose or don't put the eyes too high because you have to have room for hair up here and then um, if I wanted to add some color to this guy all right boom done and maybe what color hair does he have he's got brown hair Guys, look at that. Look how good that turned out. That was just so really, really simple. Um, then color in those shoes. If you saw a little bit of that ankle. All right, look how easy that was to make a realistic looking person. Easy peasy. Um, all right, so this guy was running a race. So uh, I'm gonna do a skinny Sharpie on him. He's gonna have his running shorts on. Okay. And gonna have his t-shirt on also and 
right across here. Don't they usually have like numbers on their shirts and stuff? So he was gonna be like number 120, oh, maybe number 12, because I ran out of room. All right, maybe he's running, so we're gonna do some hair coming back from the side. I'm gonna tilt the nose to the side. A little smile, cool. And let's color him in. <laughs> He's going to be wearing an orange running shirt. Okay. And some purple shorts. And he's going to have blonde hair. If I can find my yellow. Yep, there we go. Got it. And ba -ba -ba -ba. again, I'm doing all my color just with. Oh, maybe he's got some socks on. <laughs> some little socks on here. And maybe some laces on his shoes. What's the difference between a good drawing and a great drawing? Details. That's right. He has good memory. And he's going to have socks and shoes, same color. All right, cool. Now we got this guy. Um, I don't know. Let's do something a little more formal over here. Are you like, do, do they all have to be guys? No, of course not. Let's turn this into a lady. She's going to have, um, let's see, for the face, I'm going to give her some eyelashes because that's the easiest way to make any little cartoon picture look like a um, female. She's gonna have long, pretty hair. Um, do you wanna put her, let's put her in a um, dress. Fluid. Remember you just, it's like you're literally, you're just putting the, the clothes on top of your drawing. Okay. And it's gotta make, she's got a little belt wrapped around there. Cool, there we go. You're like, wait a second, that doesn't look like much. Well, wait a second, let's get in here. She would have a green dress, but not a real green dress. That's cruel. A little uh, musical joke there, a little reference. All right, so there she is with a green dress. Remember, if you're doing this in pencil, you would not see the body underneath because it would be in pencil and we would have lightened that up and make it go away. I'm gonna have a little blue in here. Cool. Mm-hmm. And she's gonna have reddish orange hair. All right, so are you guys getting the idea? You getting the hang of it? All right. Also, if you were gonna if you had drawn this originally and you're going over it again and it was in pencil, you wouldn't leave you would uh kind of erase the elbow and just connect that line coming down. So you want it to be action figures, but try if you're gonna turn this into a full-fledged drawing, you would want to um, get rid of like the little elbow lines and just kind of connect it. All right, so of course from here, you know about me, I'm always like, you need a ground line, hit, jump, come out the other side, hit, jump, come out the other side, hit, and then maybe a horizon line or something back here. Maybe there's crowds of people. Hey, all these people are coming around. All right, so now we got foreground, middle ground, background. Okay, so here we are, we've done our people, and I've shown you how to add some clothes onto them, but I just wanna show you how fun this stuff can be. Um, let's say we've got a guy mountain climbing, all right? You're like, hey, Mr. Steve, I wanna draw a guy climbing up a mountain. I'd say so like, okay, well, first off, um, let's do his head. All right, body. Now, if this guy's gonna be, let's say he's climbing up a hillside this way, um, and maybe he's climbing a cliff instead of a mountain climber. So think about this. This maybe this first leg's gonna be up, upper leg, knee, lower leg, foot, and maybe this back leg, upper leg, knee, lower leg, foot. See what I did there? Um, this arm, let's say this are upper arm, elbow, lower arm, hand, 
And then this other arm, this actually, we're gonna be looking at him from the side. So this other arm is gonna connect on the back side of this dude. So the head and the shoulder is gonna block a little bit. So I'm gonna do this, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, hand, okay? So there's his body. So let's say we've got this, he's got I'm, those are the, that's what a clip sounds like in case you're wondering. All right, he's got a little foothold right here. All right, and he's swooping up, getting ready to climb this cliff. All right, so what do we do now that we've got the body, we've got our cliff. Now you said, Mr. Steve, what are we, and I am drawing with pencil. I wanna make this guy looking up, so I'm gonna do a sideways view of the eye, okay? He's gonna look pretty serious. Here's an ear, I'm gonna have some hair coming back. All right, um, he's gonna be in a t-shirt and some, we'll give him some shorts. And this other leg will be coming up here. And I think a lot of times these guys wear like a little belt or something that have a little thing with chalk in it to help them grab stuff. So I'm just putting in a little detail there. All right, t-shirt. Coming around. All right, so there he is. I'm gonna give him some green shorts so you can kind of see what I was talking about with not being able to see the pencil lines as much. Okay. And he's gonna have turquoise shirt. Okay, this is a, about a little black belt he's got on there with this chalk thing. Okay, so if I was gonna say finish this up and, and outline a little bit more, I would I would not draw the the knee in here, I'd just draw the foot. I would come around the outside, not draw that circle in there. Cool. Arms, I would just come up, grabbing onto that rock. Arm coming up. So hopefully you're getting the, the gist, you're getting the idea here of how we're doing this. So it's just like an action figure and you can make him do pretty much anything you want. But guys, that looks so much better than uh, some old stick figure. And from here, you can just go on and add more and more details and finish this thing up and make it look really, really awesome and cool. But for now, that's what I'm gonna go with. So your assignment right now is to do um, one or two people, and I want them pretty big, pretty good size, and I want them doing something. Make them running, climbing a mountain, water skiing, dancing. Oh, that would be a really cool thing, it would be a picture right here, and have four or five people moved around, and they're all like at some, maybe they're at some big groovy discotheque, and they've got, you know, like their, uh, your disco ball up here and and all the people are out here dancing around getting the groove thing on you get the idea so do it uh drawing with at least two people that are moving around doing stuff all right that's your assignment go draw go have some fun and i will see you guys tomorrow